So what does a caller experience when they call your place of business? How is that telephone call answered? What happens if it's not answered? Where does it go? What will that caller experience? That's the subject of incoming call flow. And when we're setting up your telephone system, we have a number of options. And in this film clip, we're going to discuss some of those options. They include, but are not limited to, the fact that we can have a direct inward dial number go directly to an individual. And if that individual doesn't answer, the call can overflow to voicemail on ring no answer. We can also have an incoming call go to a live answer position, typically a receptionist. If the receptionist is unavailable, we can overflow to an auto attendant on ring no answer. A direct inward dial assignment to an automated attendant, a greeting. Dial one for accounting, two for customer service, or stay on the line and someone will be with you in a moment. These are menu selections played by your automated attendant. You can have an incoming telephone number applied to a hunt group. A hunt group is a way of ringing a group of indiv individuals and then overflowing to voicemail. A DID can also be applied to a work group. In a work group, we ring a group of individuals and provided that they are available but currently engaged with another client interaction, we can cue the caller until someone in the group becomes available. During the queued call, the caller can hear customer care messages, which it can include uh, press 1 uh, to leave a message and we'll call you back. So clearly these different elements, live answer, automated attendant, hunt groups, and work groups can also be combined to create some very uh, exciting solutions for managing the experience that your caller has when they dial the phone number, the front door to your place of business. Let's look at uh, direct inward dialing to an individual, to a live operator, to a hunt group, to a work group, and to an automated attendant. If individuals in your organization have a direct telephone number, an outside caller dialing that number will bypass the automated attendant or live answer position and go directly to the caller. Uh, to the called party. So in this instance here, someone's dialing a DID number for Bill. If Bill is a available, it's going to ring his phone. If it's not available, the call's going to go to voicemail, where Bill may have set up, find me, follow me, so that callers can reach him out there on his cell phone. Optionally, if someone dialed a number uh, that didn't go directly to an end user like Bill, it might go to an automated attendant. Thanks for calling. If you know your party's four-digit extension number, let's go ahead and dial it at any time uh, during this call. And we can provide them choices that enable them to self-navigate through uh, your company. A good automated attendant should confirm that you've reached the company. It should confirm that you reached the company during business hours. Uh, encourage the caller to enter a specific number of digits to call someone. Uh, provide top-level uh, macro navigations like the accounting department, the customer service uh, department. And optionally, it should enable you to uh, use a spell-by-name directory. A call can come into a hunt group. So down here we have a hunt group. In the hunt group, if there's a, an operator available, sometimes we use a hunt group uh, for a live answer point uh, for an incoming call to the receptionist. And the receptionist may actually consist of a group of um, individuals. So the call will come in. If it's on business hours, we'll ring that group of individuals. If it's after business hours, we're going to route them to um, the automated attendant, and they'll get some of the options that you would get if you had the automated attendant instead of a, um, a um, 
live operator answering point. A work group call, very similar to a hunt group call, but a work group call, we're going to send our callers in to a group of people, uh, typically a technical support or customer service organization may have a group of people who answer that incoming telephone call. What will happen if these people are available, but they're currently engaged in a client interaction, we will cue the call. All of our agents are currently busy. Please hold the line, and the next available caller will be right with you. So here your callers are lined up waiting for someone over here to hang up the telephone. And in that case, uh, we'll go ahead and process the call. So again, DID numbers directly to individuals. Um, numbers that are answered by an automated attendant. Numbers that are answered by a hunt group, which is a team of people. And a call that's answered by a work group, a team of people with queuing capability. So the hunt group, work group can also be selections off the main automated attendance. So the auto attending can say, dial one for technical support, route that call down here to the work group, and then the work group call processing function can take over. So a combination of these capabilities are generally required to meet the call processing needs of a company. And our goal is to lay them out to make sure that if we're going to have an automated attendant, that it is properly scripted so we can get them professionally recorded. And so we know the uh, operating hours of your company. Keep in mind that all of these call processing solutions can be tied to a schedule. A schedule. Keep in mind that each of these call processing solutions can be tied to a schedule. So if a call comes in during business hours, it will be handled through the operator or reception hunt group, but after hours, we'll write, route the call directly to an automated attendant. Work groups and hunt groups can have their own schedules. Those schedules can be different than the schedule applied to the automated attendant. So schedules are a key part of defining the call flow. We need to know your on hours and your off hours, and whether they are the same for all of the uh, choices, or whether they're different. If this hunt group is different and this tech support operates different hours than the auto attendant, just let us know. We'll go ahead and get that programmed for you. But at the end of the day, there are a variety of call flow options. Our goal is to help you understand how they work together so that we can get them properly scripted, programmed, and professionally recorded.